There is a song that says, what a wonderful change in my heart has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. My life was a mess and my marriage was on the rocks, really at the end of my rope. A neighbor that had been asking me for years to come to church and my reply had always been to her, I have a church. <laughs> but I knew I, I knew who Jesus was, but I didn't know that there's much more to him than just knowing who he is. So I finally gave in. And then there was the night I was baptized. My pastor told me to go home and just praise the Lord in front of my husband. <laughs> then he laughed at the shocked look on my face. <laughs> like, yeah, really, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I went home and before falling asleep that night, I just simply said to him, I love you. Later, he told me it wasn't like I was speaking to him. It was like God was speaking to him. I was so happy after I got saved <clears throat> that even a bus driver one day opened his door and said, what are you so happy about? <laughs> I just smiled all the time. I was just so happy. And it's true. When your burdens roll away, you actually feel as light as a feather. Yes, my life was different. I had a peace, I found a friend in Jesus that I knew I could depend on. So many blessings through the years. He's healed me when I was sick. I've been able to join a ministry that goes out and prays for the sick. And I've also joined a ministry that goes out and ministers, brings little messages to those that can't get to their own church. In one service as I ministered, a young man just silently cried through the whole thing. When we closed in prayer, we went to him, and he said the message was exactly what God had been speaking to him. We prayed with him, and he left the meeting changed. Hmm. Last year, my husband and I celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. I know, I'm so young. <laughs> this never would have happened if I hadn't asked Jesus to come into my heart. Hebrews 13, 5 is one of my favorite scriptures, and it's actually the first scripture that God spoke to me. And the last part of it says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Well, I'd like to begin uh, by giving a little bit of a history of where my life was many years ago. <clears throat> I was living in sin and bondage, and then I would like to go on and compare what I have now in Jesus how Jesus came and reconciled my life back to God the Father. So like my wife had said, um, about after uh, seven years of marriage, sin was really taking a hold of our lives. Our marriage was on the rocks. I would take tranquilizers during the daytime, and then at night I would start drinking. I had what they call high anxiety. I remember saying to myself, is this all there is to life? Fear, anxiety, tranquilizers, and drinking. Day after day, it was the same thing over and over. I was searching for answers. One day I went to the Memorial Day Parade on Main Street and I was sitting there getting ready to uh, watch the parade, very calm. This is gonna be a great comfortable day or so I thought. Just as the parade was starting, suddenly, out of nowhere, this hand appeared in front of me with a gospel track, and he, this person handed it to me. I read the track, and it, it really touched me. It, it really hit me like a ton of bricks. It brought to me conviction, but it did not condemn me. Looking back now, I see this was the beginning of God calling me. From this point on, my life was about to change. I was searching for a change in my life, crying out for peace. And although I didn't know it at the time, God was relentlessly pursuing me. Hmm. I started reading my Bible and the scriptures talked about salvation and being baptized and receiving the Holy Ghost. In his word in 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, casting all your care upon me for I care for you. That was what I really wanted. 
I surrendered my life to Jesus and accepted him in my life. A short time later, I was baptized at the full gospel interdenominational church of which I am a member. And soon after my baptism, while riding to work one day in my old truck, listening to some music, I had the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Everything in my old life had changed. One of my favorite scriptures is Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live, I live by the word of God and by Jesus, who gave himself for me. And in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things are become new. My old man had gone. Now, if we fast forward 42 years later, <laughs> I'm still serving God through my church and with my pastor, Reverend Eleanor Kalinske. Jesus is alive and well in my heart. So one of the best ways to describe how Jesus has changed me is to share with you an event that happened to me a while back. It was around Christmas time, and we went to, took my uh, grandchildren, and we went to uh, see the lights and the songs at different houses. So on the way home, we stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts. It was mobbed, a lot of activity going on. But I noticed as we waited in line, this young lady who was going to wait on us, was extremely distraught and really I could tell she was at her wits end. And so as I approached her, I felt the unction from the Holy Spirit to really minister to her. Now the old man, the flesh man said, you, you can't do that. This is like a line, this is a busy place. And you're gonna talk to this lady about Christ and maybe pray with her and that's when the Holy Ghost said, yes, you are. He overruled, he overruled what I was feeling in the flesh. And I asked her if she was okay. She said, no, I'm not. I think I'm gonna be leaving. Maybe I have to quit my job. And I just reached out, I didn't even say anything. I just reached out and I said, I wanna pray with you. And I just said a short prayer. I said, God, you love this woman. You love her and let her know by making a peace come onto her life right now that is a witness to her that Jesus is real. And she immediately changed, the whole atmosphere changed and she looked right at me and said, thank you, thank you for doing that. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that is, that is the thing that changed me. I was not the old man anymore, I was a new man in Jesus Christ. And it's funny how God will drop something into your heart for this testimony, I usually listen to some music before I pray in the morning. And so God dropped this song into my heart and it's from Casting Crowns, which I haven't listened to in a while. And the name of the song is You're the God of All My Days. It really exemplifies the change that came on my life when Jesus took over. So I'm just gonna read you a couple of the verses from this song. So here's how it goes. I came to you with my heart in pieces and found the God with healing in his hands. I turned to you with everything behind me and found the God who makes all things new. I looked to you, drowning in my questions, and found the God who holds all wisdom. And I trusted you and stepped out on the ocean and you caught my hand amongst the waves. I ran from you, I wandered in the shadows and found a God who relentlessly pursues. I hid from you, haunted by my failures and found the God whose grace still covers me. I fell on you when I was the weakest and found the God, the lifter of my head. And now I worship you and I feel you're right beside me. You're the reason that I sing, because you're the God of all my days. God bless you. Hallelujah.